Advertisers avoid placing ads on videos that don't align with their brand. For example, they may choose not to advertise content. This week, YouTubers are now losing even more revenue. They're being shown which videos are no longer being monetized. Then more and more YouTubers have started to turn to other platforms in search of better revenue. They've started streaming more often. They've started They're squeezing the balls. And it hurts, boys. It hurts. Is this happening now? It's not as though this content wasn't there on these on on YouTube and elsewhere before, and that these companies wouldn't have known about it. What What's going on guys, Maximus here. So that little intro skit was quite funny, but uh, I kind of want to address this issue. Uh, that's why it's a very, very short video today. Um, I also don't really have any like footage to edit, so yeah. <laughs> There's been a big problem going on, on YouTube for a little while now. I thought I'd just explain to you guys really, really briefly what's actually happened, what's going on, because a lot of people don't really understand what's happening and they don't really understand why a lot of us are streaming more often. They don't really understand like why we're complaining about, you know, we sit at home playing games and we make money from it, you know? <laughs> what have we got to complain about? So what happened was YouTube got called out for putting advertisers' adverts on controversial content. This was people that are making videos talking about fucking decapitating people. People that swear to excess. I do mean excess. You know, I swear a reasonable amount in my videos. I think that's what gives me a bit of my character. Uh, that's just how I am. People come to watch my videos for me, for how I act, not just because of the footage, which is one of the main reasons why I really, really don't agree with what they've done. After YouTube was called out, they basically put a blanket statement saying that any controversial videos any videos where they're swearing or sec anything sexually suggestive in any way is now going to get less money than it would have been had it been more in line with their new terms and conditions. The issue with this is a lot of content creators are successful because people are there seeing who they are, that come to watch that person as a person. We have to act and be different now. We can't provide the content that we once were able to. Because if we continue making videos where we swear and we joke and we do like sexual innuendos, you know, you come to one of my streams and that's, you know, that's me. That's just me chilling and talking and you guys love it and we all get on so well. I can't do that without losing about 80% of my revenue on every single video. The bottom line is, this is not what we signed up to do, but we kind of... I don't know if we can make a change. I like to think that the advertisers are going to come back shortly, I don't know, maybe within the next few months. But I think that YouTube has put down a blanket statement and now they need to sort of refine it a little bit because a lot of people, like people who play Rust, you know, you've got naked guys running around. If you have sense of nudity turned on, fair enough. You shouldn't have your content blocked. Like you shouldn't have, you shouldn't be losing monetization because you're doing everything you possibly can to ensure there's no nudity. You know, it, the game has nudity in. What, what else can you do about that? And I really don't agree with the no controversial content statement. YouTubers are controversial. We're edgy. We do things and say things that get attention and we make clickbait videos. And you can deny that if you're a YouTuber. You can deny that as hard as you want, but everyone does it. We are controversial, guys. That is what keeps us relative and keeps us interesting. Telling a YouTuber not to be controversial, not to ask questions and do things differently is like telling a politician to just agree with everything the government says. If a politician doesn't stand up and say what he believes in, then what is the point of him being in power? What is the point of electing that guy to lead X amount of people? You know, if he's not representing their best interests and he's just sort of sitting there quietly and just going along with the flow, what is the point of him? So what is the point of a YouTuber that is so restricted and is following the guidelines so accurately because he's absolutely terrified of losing money and because at the end of the day guys this is our job, you know? What is the point of a YouTuber that can't be himself? Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I am going to continue making YouTube videos and trying hard. I am going to be streaming as often as possible. 
I love you all. We're going to get through this, guys. We're going to get through this. We're going to be stronger out on the other end. We're going to become better. We need to wait for YouTube to sort of carry on working through things and keep fixing things and trying to make them better so that we can still produce content. But we're going to get through this. All right. Don't worry. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, have fun, guys. I love my job. Take a glance on where that left us at. So go ahead, pretend the rest of your life. Hide behind all of that makeup with those heels too tight. When you realize what you want is buried deep inside. I look deep into your eyes and say we'll be all right.